Brooks Reed, uh, Brunswick, Missouri. Mainly grow corn, soybeans, wheat. Welcome to Paley Farms. We're the Fuffs. My name's Andrew. We're gonna show you around the farm today. Hope you enjoy. Today, we're gonna take you out to the farm, go to one of our trials. We did this last year, a biologicals trial. It's a nice sunny day. Hopefully it's shine green for you guys to see. With farming, it's such a generational occupation. How that all pieces of the puzzle fit together and work towards growing and sustaining the farming operation. And so success is not measured in, uh, in moments, it's measured in, uh, in decades, really. So we're Paley Farms. We're located by Villisca, Iowa. We're all corn, been corn on corn for four years now. Some of it's on its fifth year of corn. All right, this is the shop. So this is where we hang out. What do you guys do down here? Shoot hoops, yeah. The dogs stay in here in the winter time. This is my dog, Bill. We named him Bill because of his bushy eyebrows and our grand for Bill. Shed parties, we invite the neighbors, neighborhood. Yep. Watch football games Watch and football games. stuff like that. Oh, we moved these two green bins down here in the last couple of years. One from our house. And then the one was from back behind this shed to make it so it was a little easier. So we're loading out corn right now and hauling it over to the ethanol plant. So the first thing we pull in, wait in line a little bit, pull onto the scale and they'll probe and they check moisture, test weight, and then go to the pit and unload. Hit the outbound scale and away we are to go get the next load. Out here walking around in my cover crop corn stock field, important thing for uh, any producer to do is get out and walk around in your field and see what's going on out there. You can't see these things from the desk and that's why uh, farming will always be a boots on the ground occupation. Before I had tried any biologicals, I really didn't know enough about them. I'd hear about them at different events and trade shows that I would go to and I just learned that it's maybe something I needed to try on my farm and unlock something that I don't I don't fully understand, I can't say today. And there really isn't that many people in my area that are doing corn on corn that are strip tilling. So to get the data that I need for my operation, I've kind of got to be the one doing the trials. Biopath trial was out here in this field last year, had some pretty good results, showed up on the tissue samples. We're working through yield analysis process right now to track out the response as it went out across the field. This is also the field that we did our biopath trial of the biologicals. Super easy to use, put it in with my starter, did the trial, marked it out, and their half mile long rows worked out great. If mother nature treats us well this year and everything else works right, I'm hoping for some of my best yields. Try our biological trial again this year. You might have a trial that looked like a home run or a, a, a terrible loss in one year, and, and it may have been something that was outside of the product's control. On the biopath versus the control, it's a really good corn. It was healthy all year. It's 5.29 bushel better where I used the biopath. So great ROI for the product. Brooks Reed, uh, Brunswick, Missouri. Look forward to growing season, keeping you updated and find something new, interesting. Thanks for letting us show you our farm here in Southwest Iowa at Paley Farms. Uh, look forward to you guys seeing the next episode and sharing more with you in the future. Thanks guys. Thank you.